In 2008, Samsung's smartphone manufacturing facilities were scattered throughout mainland China. Just 15 years later, those factories have disappeared, and nearly all of them have relocated to Southeast Asia. It may have given Samsung a competitive advantage to go to Vietnam first. But Apple was on its heels. Over the last few years, the tech giant started making similar moves to diversify its operations. Here's a closer look at how Samsung and Apple's manufacturing moves from China are reshaping their businesses and what the strategies reveal about the rapidly shifting global supply chain. In 2008, Samsung set up a plant in the Bac Ninh region of Vietnam to reduce its dependence on China. Tech industry analysts say it was a forward-thinking move for the South Korean company. They benefit in a lot of ways. They benefit from uh, cheaper labor in some of these countries that they're moving to. They benefit from being insulated from some of the geopolitical tensions that come with operating in China. Meanwhile, the company was slowly moving its smartphone operations out of the country. Since 2013, the number of Samsung employees in China has fallen by 70%. Samsung still kept significant manufacturing centers in China, including for its expansive memory chip business. Samsung Semi. Samsung pays about 10% corporate income tax in Vietnam versus China's standard 25% rate. It now produces half of its smartphones there. Apple also has operations in Vietnam. The company started producing its watches in the country and moved some iPad manufacturing there too. In Apple's most recent list of its top 200 suppliers, 25 were in Vietnam. That's 25% higher than four years ago. Then there's India. Around 20 to 30 percent of all of Samsung's smartphones are now manufactured there, according to Morgan Stanley. And it's still expanding. In 2022, it opened the world's largest mobile phone factory near New Delhi. These moves helped the company to become a dominant force in India's rapidly growing smartphone market, the second largest in the world behind China. Apple's longer-term goal is to ship 40 to 45 percent of iPhones from India, according to supply chain analysts. In 2022, that number was in the single digits for the company. More recently, the company started moving manufacturing even closer to home. A multi-billion dollar deal with U.S. chipmaker Broadcom will allow Apple to source critical chip components from manufacturing hubs around the U.S. But even as Apple and Samsung spend billions to move away from China, the manufacturers may still depend on suppliers there. During the height of the 2020 COVID-19 outbreak in China, Samsung found itself scrambling to secure suddenly scarce Chinese components. There's also a political challenge because these companies, many of them still need to manufacture in China to some extent, and they need to be delicate about how they handle diversifying their supply chains. Even though a supply chain shift won't happen overnight, Samsung and Apple's manufacturing strategies reveal a larger de-risking trend that's transforming global markets.